is do you want to feel gaslit by your clothes? I think this is the closest to cottagecore that I will ever look. Um, they're the chode of feet. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Star, I am your friendly neighborhood go-go dancer, and today I want to show you all uh, today I want to show you all of the summer clothes that I got off of Poshmark. I have never been a person to buy myself clothes all that often for pretty much all of my childhood to young adulthood. I was kind of raised to be very frugal, and then like as I got older, I got into like environmentalism and like helping the planet and whatnot, and buying things does the opposite of that. So I never really bought myself a lot of physical things. I mainly like to spend my money on experiences like traveling or concerts or like amusement parks. And then COVID happened um, and we couldn't really do a whole lot of experiences anymore. So since COVID took away what I normally buy for fun, which is experiences, I just started buying physical things. And the environmentalist in me was like, I don't really want to contribute to the world's problems. So I have pretty much bought all of my clothes over the course of the pandemic through Poshmark. This is not sponsored by Poshmark. Poshmark has been kind of a wild ride. My tagline for Poshmark is, do you want to feel gaslit by your clothes? Poshmark is for you. You think you're a medium? Okay, here's this piece of clothing that says it's a medium and then you get it. It's more like an extra small. This person says, hey, this is a large, but it fits more like a medium. And you get it in the mail. And it, no, it's it's like a large. You think you're a size six shoe? Think again. I have gotten some good things from Poshmark. I've also gotten a lot of bad things from Poshmark. I'm tired of being in this like hunched position, so let's get into some of the stuff I bought recently. So first up is this yellow off-the-shoulder dress by the brand The Impeccable Pig. It's so pretty and light and flowy and summery. I normally don't go for dresses that have this color, but I'm so glad I did because it looks so good. I feel like it looks really good on my skin tone. I got this in a large and it fits pretty well. It is just like a little bit long um, and like a little bit loose around the waist, but I'd rather have my clothes fit a little bit too loose than a little bit too tight just because I have a lot of digestion issues. The only disadvantage of this dress is that it is a long sleeve, so I don't know if I'll be able to wear this in the hottest parts of the summer, but this is definitely good for like, you know, that 70 degree weather range. It costs $40 and it was originally $84, so totally worth it. Even though the material is thin, I can tell that it is good quality and will last me a long time. I'm also wearing these Tiva sandals that I also got from Poshmark. I got these shoes because I have some like foot joint pain issues that recently started surfacing and I think it's because the sandals that I typically wear during the summer are a very cheap pair from Target um, and have zero support. I have very small but very wide thick feet. My feet are very short but very thick. Um, they're the chode of feet. <laughs> a lot of shoes that I find do not accommodate my, my thick feet. Um, the straps are always too tight, but the foot size itself is like too long. Anyways, this next dress is this floral print dress from Free People. It has a bunch of corset details that are all fully functional and you can adjust them however you like. These buttons are fully functional, so like you can just like rip off the dress like this if you wanted to and take it off that way instead of dealing with this corset thing. Okay, yeah, that's actually the important thing about these buttons is that you can just unbutton it as opposed to trying to figure out the corseting in the back. I personally struggle with it. There's probably gonna be a ton of B-roll of me really struggling with this corset that you may or may not be seeing on the screen right now. This is also definitely outside of my comfort zone. It is definitely very cottagecore and probably the most cottagecore I will ever get. I was personally never into the whole cottagecore trend. I got this in a medium. I feel like it's a relatively good fit. It might be a little bit big up top. Um, it does cut a little bit low for me. The other thing that I look for in clothes is can I wear this without a bra? Apparently this dress originally cost $128 and I got it for $25. Are you kidding me, bitch? I can hear my boyfriend in the bathroom right now, so I'm pausing for a moment. I can tell that my boyfriend just got a white claw, so that means he's done with work. Or he can't take work right now, so he's also drinking to cope with 
work. I hope it's the first thing. I didn't want to buy from free people directly. They're a little bit greenwashing and they're a little bit whitewashing and I don't want to like give my money to that, but I will certainly pay for it secondhand because none of the money is going to the company. I feel like that's the nice thing about buying things secondhand is that you can buy from brands that you like how they look, but you don't like what they stand for. Free People is one of those things for me. Brandy Melville, I do have one top from Brandy Melville that I bought from Poshmark. Dolls Kill is another company that I love the clothing, but I hate their ethics. Overall, this was a great find. Oh my God. It has pockets. I didn't know this the first time I tried this. This dress is really great, okay? Like my first opinion about it was like, eh, it's, it's a secondhand dress, so like there's a couple of things wrong with it. But now I'm learning that this dress, like I just misunderstood it the first time around. This is actually an incredible dress. I think I'm gonna stop now before everything comes crashing down. Um, let's move on to the next dress, okay? Here's the third and the last dress. I feel like this dress is unfortunately the least favorite of the three because I had like kind of high hopes for this dress. Because it's sleeveless, I could probably wear this in the like the hotter 80 degree weather temperatures, but because it doesn't fit quite as flattering as I would hope it to look, um, I probably won't wear it as frequently, but I don't know. It is still a very comfortable dress, um, but I think the issue here honestly is that it's a little bit too big. Which makes sense because I got this dress in the large, and I almost forgot to tell you how much I paid for this dress. So it cost $29, and I honestly could not find the original retail price of this dress. It is literally taking me months to make this video, so uh, I can't find the original listings of some of these clothing items anymore. I think I can actually fix it though by... So there's like a seam at the top here, and if I just take it in a little bit, so like if I hold it here, like suddenly it fits my arms better compared to like this side. It's not as baggy on the top. I still think this is a great dress. This is a great like summer dress. Let's move on to the non-dress stuff that I got. I have been really into cotton shorts, basically like anything that's not made out of jeans or like a jeans material shorts. So I got this pair of navy shorts. These are from H&M and I got this pair of gray shorts with neon yellow green trim and these are from Fashion Nova. So these shorts came in a bundle for $12 and I don't honestly know what the original retail price is but it's Fashion Nova and H&M. I'm sure you can guess that they were relatively cheap. I got them in a size large and I also got this tank top from PacSun for $11 and it originally retailed for $35. Um, like, it's a cute tank top, but I don't think it's a $35 tank top. Like, it's just made out of cotton and it has these snaps on here. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I personally wouldn't pay $35 for this tank top, but, you know, I paid $11 for it. Oh, and I got this tank top in a medium, by the way. Um, it's just a little bit snug around the arms, but otherwise, like, I still have a full range of motion, which is great. I've been trying to look more into more, like, fitted clothing because, you know, body insecurities that you have as a kid that you grow up into an adult and then you eventually process through them and you grow out of them and you become more accepting of your body. So you start wearing things to show it off a little bit more. Uh, that's what I went through. I don't know if anybody else is going through that or has gone through that. I can see myself wearing this top with a lot of other shorts that I have. I especially like these little stripes down the boob nipple area. I feel like it makes it almost look like a corset. Um, I like how these shorts fit. They're very loose, very comfortable. I can see myself wearing them with a lot of other things. I feel like this, these, this pair of shorts brings out the little navy details with this top. Let me show you guys the other pair of shorts that I got. Okay, here are the gray shorts. They are very soft. They're made of a little bit thinner material. They are Fashion Nova brand, which is a relatively cheap brand. I, I feel like I've gotten stuff from Fashion Nova that uh, was unexpectedly ill-made. These are just plain old shorts. Um, it's fine if they're made out of a thinner material. I'm just gonna be lounging around the house for the most part in them. But I also feel okay going out with them. Like they're not so thin that they're like transparent. They honestly feel kind of like pajama shorts, which is great and nice. This drawstring is completely useless. Um, it's just a couple of strings sticking out from here and it does not do anything. 
I think now about half of my closet is secondhand, which I'm pretty happy about, and I'm pretty happy about like how my closet looks right now. I want to be more adventurous with my closet, but I'm only so brave to like actually get there. If you guys want to see more of the things that I've gotten secondhand, I definitely have way more stuff. Stuff from Poshmark, stuff that I've gotten from Goodwill, stuff I've gotten from friends. I'm personally curious like how much of my closet is secondhand and how much of it I bought new. Alright, I think this video is dragged on a lot. If you want to see more like fashion videos or like clothing haul videos or haul videos like this in the future, please comment and let me know. Uh, make sure to like this video. Please subscribe. I would love if you hung out with me and subscribe. I do freestyle videos every Friday. They are my freestyle Fridays. I occasionally do videos like this. You can check me out on my Instagram or on TikTok. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!